Hi, welcome back to the channel. Please remember that while I did work as a dealership master technician for 17 years, I'm currently in no way whatsoever affiliated with any automotive manufacturer. All opinions expressed are my own and any and all trademarks are the property of their respective owners. Today, I'm going to show you how to drain and refill the engine coolant on a 2010 Toyota Tundra. Open the rad cap to drain the coolant. Uh, make sure the engine is cold so you don't get burnt. Drain the radiator into a container. Close the drain once the coolant stops flowing. Hold the front wheel with a 22 mil socket. Remove the splash covers here. This one here is missing. Um, we have just the front one, so there's a few clips you gotta pull out, get it out of the way. Install a uh, 5 16 of an inch diameter hose on the drain nipple located on the side of the engine block on the passenger side. And then use a 10 millimeter socket to open the drain plug right there and uh, drain the coolant from the block into your container. When the coolant stops flowing, close the drain cord and tighten it up nice and snug. And remove the drain hose. There's a coolant drain on the opposite side of the engine as well, but uh, I find that draining one side is sufficient. If you open the other side, pretty much nothing comes out of there. So you can definitely uh, not worry about the other one. And reinstall the splash cover with the clips. Install the passenger side wheel and snug that one up. Tighten to 97 foot pounds. Refill the engine with coolant and bleed the system. The trick here is just to pour it in slowly so that you don't create a airlock. So try to pour it slowly and patiently. So it's not like uh, bubbling out, but uh, just fills it up nice and slow. So we'll pour a little extra and uh, start the truck. Now we're gonna sort of rev it up and down, turn the heat on full max, full blast, full hot, and just rev it up and down while the bubbles are coming out. And you know that it's bled when it's idling for let's say a minute, you're not giving any gas and it's blowing really hot air out of the vents. Because what will happen is as you're revving it up, the water pump is pushing a lot of coolant through and it kind of gets past the airlocks. So um, even if it has an airlock, it can blow hot air from the vents. But then once it goes back to idle, the flow slows down and now it gets uh, air plugged in the heater core and uh, then you uh, might not bleed it properly. So let's fire it up and see what happens. until uh, the truck is fully warmed up and the uh, bubbles are not coming out anymore and it's blowing hot air at idle and then you're good to go. 
Okay, now uh, we bled it. It's blowing nice hot air at idle, so I'm happy with that. Get the funnel out of here. Dump a bunch into the overflow. I always overflow it, uh, overfill it a little bit above the full mark because uh, right now it's hot. The full mark is full level when cold. And uh, once it cools off, it will suck some of that coolant back in. Plus, there's always a little bit of air left in there. So we're done with that. Get the tool adapter off. Put the wrap cap on. Wipe it down, wash it off with a pressure washer. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more Toyota Tundra videos. And uh, check the links below the video for any tools or supplies you may need to complete the uh, job shown in this tutorial. See you next time. Cheers.